It's common to see people wearing face masks these days, but there is a hidden irritant right behind your ears. Many essential workers who are forced to wear the masks for seemingly endless hours get a sore ear because of that constant rubbing of the elastic. Paula Tutman introduces us to a young man who has put his studies aside to fix the problem. You know, without question, there are a lot of seniors out there who are concerned about their graduation and what's next. What's so incredible about the story of this young man, I'm about to tell you, who is a maker, and you've got to love these makers, is he's really not concerned about his future. At the moment, he's really concerned about right now. The world is trying to help the world, and 17-year-old Foster Carragay of Troy has answered. He owns several 3D printers and got a notice from his manufacturer. They sent out some emails saying, hey, uh, we have some files to print uh, face shields. And uh, I thought that was really cool that we are actually taking 3D printing and turning it into something that could make it like fill the gap in the supply chain that we currently have. So I was going to go ahead and start doing that, but then I realized that I don't have a method to cut like mass amounts of clear plastic. But instead of deciding he couldn't help, he figured out a way where he could. So, so where are we right now? Uh, in my basement. <laughs> okay, so that's your workshop, right? Yeah, essentially. He'd heard complaints that the elastic on simple face masks could be irritating and uncomfortable. And so he began designing ear protectors. You put the mask on and then take like one side of it, put it right on there, bring it around to the other side. Simple as that. And it keeps it off of on the, uh, the top of your ears and it puts them actually below your ears while still, you know, holding it against your face. And so with his 3D printers in his basement, just been going stop. And his immediate family as his crew. He's gone to work doing his part to make protective masks more comfortable. The elastic from the actual masks, instead of resting around your ears, they rest on these little nubs. You've not had time to put in a patent for this, but it's a much needed item, right? Do you even care about that or you just want to help? I've not one to like, you know, chase after that. We're donating them 100% free. That's one of the biggest misconceptions we've been having is that people want to, you know, say, oh, we'll buy 100 of them. <laughs> you can have 100 of them, you know? He gives handfuls to doctors and nurses he knows, but says any first responder, healthcare worker, delivery person, or grocery store worker is his top priority. Never really thought that something as simple as 3D printing these would make such a big impact on the community. Paula Tutman, Local 4. And those items are earmarked for essential workers only. We'll put a contact form for essential worker groups to reach out to Foster on our social media platforms.